finished up this guy. Been enjoying incorporating these flowers into them. Definitely could get more detailed, but this one is really little as you can see. This is just really a sketch. You can still see some of the remnants of the plotter using those acrylic markers underneath. Gotta get blobby with it as always. But I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. And this mark in it on this eye here. Um, it's just from the mouse itself. And it has this digital blocky look to it. When you just work with the mouse slowly. And then transcribe that to the plotter. And then this big one is what I'm working on now. It's not that big. Um, but just getting more decisive with my blobs. So these kind of marked, I don't know, this looks almost looks like a piece of bacon kind of falling down this area here, embracing pattern more, just embracing these flowers. These flowers are kind of explosive by their very own nature. So I started thinking about what, you know, a still life would look like for me. And by doing so, I came up with these more object-oriented paintings. And these things down here, those are Inca's drawings. And then put through the plotter and then I'm painting them. Got some circuitry going on. Some quartz crystals, which of course a lot of different tech gadgets need quartz, so I've been interested in these sort of things. But also, you know, there's this real psychedelic element to the inception a lot of internet culture. A lot of it was, you know, it was based out of Berkeley, California, a real hippie hub in the world, and of course people like Steve Jobs crediting LSD with helping him discover a lot of different technology and different ideas. So I think there's, I'm, I'm going to try to exploit that, uh, exploit that a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily have to be about drugs, but drugs do alter your perception and the internet is such a strange thing because it is psychedelic in a way. So I think there's some connections there that can be exploited more.